uh, Lyme disease, you know, um, you know, patients with Lyme disease, a lot of times they have an imbalance with, with the immune system. It's this Th1, Th2 immunity, it kind of flip-flops. If you ever know anybody with Lyme disease, sometimes, you know, they'll have something that they'll maybe eat or be exposed to, a perfume. It could be, you know, you know it could be anything where all of a sudden they react to it. It's like, they shouldn't react to it, but it's like their, their immune system has flip-flopped and is reacting to things that they shouldn't react to. Um, that's the same when we use, um, that's why they use it in autism. A lot of times in autism is that Th1, Th2 immunity has uh, flip-flopped. So also with many patients with Lyme, if, you know, chronic pain and inflammation. So we know it's working on those inflammatory cytokines. Uh, it's, you know, again, with um, Dr. Horowitz, who's uh, one of the Lyme specialists, you know, he had a thousand plus patients 75 of his patients experience less fatigue, myalgia, arthralgia from naltrexone. And again, there's that average dose of 4.5, but that doesn't mean, you know, it's the average dose. And I, I always say that what I've learned over the times, if you just go to the 4.5, 50% of the people will probably respond. If you do more like, like we recommend and Dr. Goldstein does and titrate that dose a little slower and work with the patient, you probably get 83, 85% of patients will respond.